Last year, a lot of our fans were telling us they wanted to send us stuff in the mail, so we opened a P.O. box, and we did get a lot of fan mail, including this stuff that you see behind us. But since making those videos, we've gotten a lot more. That's right. But due to our limited schedule, we've only had the time to watch Star Trek and complain about our audience. Yes, but today it finally ends. We're opening all of the fan mail that we've gotten this year. Now, this first box is kind of awkward because we did actually already open this, Alex. Way back in January, we filmed a fan mail video, and I had a drive corruption, so we lost the footage. Since then, lesson learned, I've backed up all of our footage in two locations. But because of that, this first box we've already opened and seen, so uh, we're just going to go through it. And some of it we might not know who it's from anymore, so we do apologize for that. Uh, if you know it's from you, feel free to comment. Make sure that we know it came from you so we can thank you properly. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, what is this? Star Wars, Yoda's Secret War. Uh, what, idiots, what idiot sent us this, huh? Ooh, uh, is there any canon breaking stuff on Wikipedia on here? Oh. You don't think like the art looks cool in there? Oh yeah, sure, it's fine. Uh, let's just capitalize on someone else's hard work. Yeah, that's great. Woo, good job. All right, what's next? All right, well, these were pretty cool. Oh, look at that. We got sent some uh, figures. Donatello is Spock, and we got Captain Leonardo, and it looks like he would be Kirk. Captain Kirk, Captain Leonardo. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Another figure we got here was a Next Generation figure of Worf, and that looks like Season 1 Worf, you can tell from his haircut, I believe. Is he wearing red? Oh, God, look at that hairline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's his hair from season one. Oh, his hair is definitely uh, improved since season one. Star Trek The Next Generation Technical Manual. A fascinating look inside the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. Look at that. Fantastic. I think they sent us that because of how much we have no idea what the hell's going on on the ship and how anything works. All right, let's open up right to a spoiler. What do we got? Inside Star Trek The Real Story. Got some credit screens there on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Herbert F. Solo and Robert Justman. I believe that's a Targ from the episode where no one was gone before, where they started seeing the visions on the Enterprise, and Worf sees one of those. Klingon Targ. First appearance where no one has gone before. Hey, I remember stuff Look at sometimes. That. Look at that. That's pretty neat. This is a keepsake of the Trouble with Tribbles. You got Kirk in there with the Tribbles. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Trek, the magazine for Star Trek fans. 95 cents. That'd be $14 today. And we have uh, a her on the front there. We've got a nice black and white picture of Kirk on the back. Can you tell me who that is? Who that blonde woman is? I don't know. The Trouble with Tribbles, the complete story of one of Star Trek's most popular episodes. I know you're interested in learning more about that. <laughs> it says... How to be a Star Trek writer. Can a young college student find fortune and everlasting fame as a Star Trek writer? David Gerald did, and he's here's how. Wow, so I didn't know that about this episode. David Gerald wrote this, and he was a college kid, apparently, it says. When are you going off your milk diet, lad? This is vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Star Trek The Next Generation hologram box. And then we have a 3D greeting card still in the wrapping. Pop shots. Oh, I see. It pops up in the back. That's neat. Star Trek, the next generation. Playing cards in tin box. I wonder how you play. <laughs> what game, yeah, what game is it? Just regular deck of cards, probably? <laughs> it's war. Like, you know, like whichever character. Ooh, not. one side the Romulans and one side the Federation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check these out. Keychain, uh, that looks like a communicator. And then this is, I think, Spock's... Isn't oh, this what Spock uh, tricorder? Uses? Yeah, tricorder. Yeah, tricorder. Yeah. yeah. Which one of these would you want? Oh, the communicator for sure. All right, I'll take the tricorder. I thought you might want the tricorder. You know, your favorite character, Spock. I do love Spock. When you try to convince like the kid at school that you're trading with, like, oh, I thought you'd want this one. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> when it's like, I just want yours. Like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Last thing that we already opened, we got the rest of Space 1999. Uh, I believe this is the rest of the series. Or just the rest of season one. I don't know how many seasons of this there were. But I know that these are from Chris, because Chris sent us season one, or, or the first set of Space 1999 in one of our earlier fan mail videos. And this is the rest of it. So maybe we'll watch this one day, Chris. Star Trek Strangers from the Sky. Looks like a TOS book. The epic novel of first contact between man and Vulcan. Oh, so oh really? Wow. A little bit of Vulcan origin. 
I mean, it looks like Spock and Kirk on the cover, so that's kind of odd. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that was first contact. But it, oh, if you <laughs> notice, they're they're wearing the uh, the yellow like from the the, the original pilot. The, yeah, uniform. the original pilot. Yeah. Looks like this is from Jensen. So thank you, Jensen, for sending it to us. If you go by a different name and you sent us this book, let us know in the comments. Well, mine is from Todd. Spoiler free. <laughs> thank you. See you. That? <laughs> thank you for specifying. But when did he send this? As if that would, we <laughs> it it would become not spoiler free. <laughs> <laughs> what if we already forgot? <laughs> hey, J slash A. Imagine being 10 years old in 1976, just another day in October. My mom wanted to go to the local department store, and I stopped by the kids' area. This book was on display. I had recently seen the episode The Paradise Syndrome. I was a little obsessed with how to see, with how to spell mir Miramanet Manny. <laughs> so I played around with the wheel for a few, found the episode li listed, and looked up the pages. Let's see what this is. Uh, Paradise Syndrome, that was the episode where Kirk was in the kind of Native American-esque garb where they're on the planet for like 60 days. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we have... Star Trek Concordance, a fully illustrated comprehensive directory to the TV series, including cast, plot, synopsis, fan art, glossary, index, etc. Oh my god. It's almost like an encyclopedia for TOS. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. We got a drawing of Sarek. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you, Todd. That is neat, yeah. And you got this when you were 10 and you sent it to us? My god. Thank you. <sighs> that's great. Thank you so much. All I can think of is if I was a kid in 1976, I wouldn't have a microwave. How, I, how do I eat anything? Yeah, you'd be thinking that too. Where, where's this machine that cooks our food? Yeah. If only there was something I could heat up quick. <laughs> Looks like this one's from Brian. Hello, Alex and Josh. I hope you're having a great day. I'm a big fan, and it has been a blast rewatching Star Trek with you. I definitely appreciate seasons one and two more now. I'm assuming it means TNG. <laughs> I am the owner operator of a small soap company and an audience member on Patreon. Well, thank you. I hope your skin enjoys the enclosed. The tallow soap is better for oily skin. The vegan soap is better for dry and or sensitive skin. Brother sent us soap. <laughs> Bro's trying to say something. You don't even know us in person. How do you know if we smell? <laughs> no, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hail soaps. Look up hail soaps. Simply good soap, it says. So, that's awesome. Yeah, there you go. You want to advertise your company? Send us free samples. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, our P.O. Box is no longer open for right now because we're going to be moving... Uh, I'm going to be moving, and we're going to be changing re recording locations. So uh, there will be one that opens again eventually. I just wanted to remind everyone it's not open right now. So if you see that P.O. box out there on, like, an old video, if you send something to it, it's just going to get returned. So just hang on to that. Anyone who wants to send us something, just look out on our Patreon for updates on that. This one's from Jeff. Thank you very much, Jeff. It says, a copy of the 70s collection of novelized TOS episodes from James Blish, the Star Trek reader, 21 novelized episodes based on the exciting television series. So it looks like we got Arena, A Taste of Armageddon, Tomorrow is Yesterday, Errand of Mercy, Court Martial, Operation Annihilate, City on the Edge of Forever, Space Seed, Trouble with Tribbles, The Last Gunfight? That must be a different Wait, name. Which book is this? Book one? Is it... It's all within this book? Yeah, it says 21. I think these are all in the book. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Wow. The last gunfight, that's got to be uh, Spectre of the Gun in another country. They must have changed the name. Oh. The Doomsday Machine, Assignment Earth. Oh, there you go. Mirror, Mirror, Friday's Child, The Muck Time. And then we got Spock's Brain, The Enemy Within, Cat's Paw, Where No Man Has Gone Before, Wolf in the Fold, and For the World is Hollow and I Have Touched the Sky. What an interesting mix of episodes. So it's like the, it's that in novelization form? Yep. Just the episode novel in a novel, basically. Oh, that's neat. Well, thank you very much, Deep Discount eBay. <laughs> Let us know who sent us this one. It looks like we got the DVD of Colossus, The Forbin Project. I don't know the movie, but I do know that. So over on Patreon, we have a movie reaction lottery for our target demographic to your patrons. Every month, uh, they basically get to submit a movie with their membership, and every month we spin a wheel to randomly choose one to react to over on the Patreon. And several people, I think, said this movie, so I'm not sure which one sent it to us. But if it ever wins that lottery, we will uh, already have it. So thank you very much. And it's funny because when they were first submitting it, I mean, Forbin, I've never heard of that word before, so I just, my brain read it as the Forbidden Project, and I just had it on the wheel as the Forbidden Project <laughs> for, like, a long time. And then finally realized, like, oh, that's not it. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea what it is. Let's look at the runtime. Ooh, 100 minutes. That's doable. That's doable. It's all right. W runtime. 
a gift for you. Hoping you guys can get this on the schedule, maybe as a special audience cut run. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. From JD. JD! Thank you, JD. Speaking of the lottery, JD won recently with The Godfather, and Alex didn't like it. You want to explain yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way! Oh, have you never seen that? No, have you? Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. The five-part minis. Yeah, this is on HBO. Yeah, I love that. Chernobyl! So, Alex and I actually had a joke way back when we started the channel. When we were like <laughs> thinking of stuff to watch, and we were like, someone uh, recommend. I don't know if it was JD. I don't think he was watching us all the way back then in, in our Hawkeye days. But I think someone re uh, recommended Chernobyl, and we were like, Chernobyl, like a, a you know a drama history drama Chernobyl reaction <laughs> with a, a YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> But ironically, this has been requested a lot, and I've never seen it. You, you said you've I seen have, it, yeah. and it's really good? It is really good, yeah. So maybe we will check it out now that we have it. I didn't even know HBO released this physically, because everything's just streaming now, so you never know what's released. But thank you, JD, very much. This one's from Analog Mind. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a meme. Uh, the Virgin TNG Season 1 and 2 Facer. Uh, he did a virgin enchantment. <laughs> Smooth, like it's designer's brain for the virgin. Uh, um, I'm not just a weapon. I'm a sophisticated tool for a more evolved dot dot dot. <laughs> Got replaced in season three by a superior design that mogged. He even drew a little logo on the end there. That's great. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, we, we got another one. Oh, what? Oh, there's a picture of us. <laughs> and I'm a Tellarite. Oh, really, bro? The pig character? Come on. Oh. And Alex is an Andorian. Yours looks sweet. Yeah, that's crazy. You got white hair. Oh, uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, it was okay. <laughs> Seven ten. <laughs> <laughs> Based in, in Shasta pill. <laughs> can be filled with fireball. Oh, can filled with can fireball. Can filled with fireball. Oh my god. Scotty D didn't beam me all up. <laughs> it says Alex the Andorian. Oddly, not the planet, the French city. <laughs> Riker hairstyle on point for Josh. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> it's a virgin CNG phaser. And this is from Katie. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Star Trek The Next Generation, Q in law. Two of the most powerful forces in the galaxy are about to collide. Looks like a novel of Q and Loxana Troy getting married, presumably. What? <laughs> that's insane. And Picard is stuck in the middle between his two favorite characters. Oh, that's great. I'm sure that's a blast. That is hilarious. I'm just reading the back to see if it says anything about how Picard's involved. She's not marrying Q in the book. <laughs> She's just getting married. Okay. <laughs> and and then Q shows up. Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was them two getting married. Oh, what yeah, what a great resolution for her if she married Q. <laughs> great side story. Uh, Josh and I used to and I used to work for a a warehouse and I was in charge of the mail. And I was in charge of opening up the boxes. To make sure uh, you know what it is and check them in. But sometimes employees would send stuff that was personable to them and not involved with the company. And I opened up this guy's box and there was a tent inside. And I took the box cutter and cut it too deep. And I cut this guy's tent. <laughs> but who sends their stuff to a, their workplace? I've never understood that. Especially a warehouse where you know it's going to go through someone else's hands. Yeah. Some uh, at the time idiot 18, 19 year olds. Who didn't care at all. You think we're assholes now? Huh. Uh, I don't know who this is from. I didn't see any notes on there. But this is the art of Star Trek. Now, there's no spoiler warning, so I'm afraid to open it up. That looks like the classic Enterprise, the 1701. So, you know what? I'm going to take the risk. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoever sent this to us, comment. Let us know it was you so we can thank you properly. And this one is from James Botis, longtime patron. Uh. I don't want to lose your love tonight. Yeah. Charlie Sheen in The Arrival. Oh. Not Arrival, The Arrival. Oh my god, that's hilarious. When I was doing my own YouTube channel, I like started watching that and I uploaded like one video. And I'm like, that this isn't fun. Like it was before like you and I started doing anything, I think. You started watching it? Is it a show? No, or, it's a movie. <laughs> you just watched the beginning of the movie and uh, uploaded a video about I, it? I did like 20 minutes. I'm like, yeah, this is fine. Well, there you go. But I have, holy shit, Star Trek the Animated Series. The, on, uh, is that Blu-ray? Yeah. That's amazing. Blu-ray. 
Yeah, because we have it, you have it in the... Uh... It is included in the box set, but I didn't know they released it separately like that. They probably have special features and stuff on it. Oh, oh that's sweet. Oh, these... There's a special card for each episode, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've got to show the one for yesteryear, but no, i got to find the one of that asshole. I love this one, though. Uh, that one's too, with, uh, oh, what's his name? Arex. Eric. Yeah. Good old Arex. Should have been in Star Trek V. He should have. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. You know, I think maybe he sent this so that you'd have a copy. I was about to say, well, these are mine now, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Now I can remember the episode's names without having to look them up. I just have to... You have to open your box set. <laughs> open up my box set and flip through the discs. To Josh and Alex. Hi, guys. Here's a few items to add to your collections. I know that Josh has had that nice 50th anniversary box set for all your TOS needs, but for Alex, because I have multiple copies, here's your own complete TOS and TAS. Yeah! For Josh, here's a copy of your favorite movie, The Arrival. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Sheen's 1995 sci-fi thriller. Since you mentioned it's your favorite film, surely you'd want a Blu-ray copy. I know, lame joke, but once I bought the extra copy, I was committed to it. P.S. It's actually a pretty good movie. James. Thank you very much, James. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, great. We definitely do have to watch this at some point now. We should, yeah. Just the fact that it's The Arrival and it's Charlie Sheen. That's hilarious. We got a big box. Oh. Holy oh. shit. Oh, my God. What, uh, what is, uh... Okay, we got a Hellraiser-type device, but with the Star Trek <laughs> TNG characters on it. I'm just picturing Pinhead. Careful what you choose. You might choose a season one episode. A Star Trek The Next Generation, Tasha Yar. Nice. Includes phaser, weapon, and tricorder, analyzer, and it's posable. It can move. I have a Borg head. <laughs> oh, sick! <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, a bobblehead! Spock bobblehead. That's amazing. <laughs> an entire, oh my god. An entire Borg cube. <laughs> That's great. Imagine that just setting up in your display in your living room and someone walks in. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm going to put it on my desk at the office. <laughs> Spock with no pants. But he's got his boots on and it looks like it was maybe bit by a dog. But I got a nice. pantsless Spock with a pretty bright blue shirt. I would have oh, this is for you, Alex. Oh. A Star oh, Trek oh, class. Oh, give me that. Oh, really? That's. It came in this. Oh, oh wow. I don't think I can taint this with Fireball or christen it with Fireball. It might ruin it. 1701D Christmas ornament. Oh, hell yeah. If we ever get a mini tree for a Christmas episode, we got to put that on there. For Definitely sure. this year we will. Yeah. This is a Tiger Electronic Star Trek Next Generation game. <laughs> I only know about Tiger Electronic because of uh, Angry Video Game Nerd. Yep, yep. Star Trek Next Generation 365. Um, introduction by Ronald Moore. What is this? A visual celebration of Star Trek, including the Next Generation, including the definitive guide to all 178 episodes. <laughs> all from Conspiracy. Yeah. That's awesome. So we got some like imagery stuff from looks like from all these episodes. There's the cover. And so we could, like, watch an episode and then look through it and see what's in here on it. Oh, gotcha. On that episode. Oh, that's neat. So I think that's supposed to be an image of Gene and, like, on there. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> so I think it's a bunch of little, little Easter eggs and stuff like that. That's great. And then I found the base for this. <laughs> it's right on the front of your desk at work. That's great. That is amazing. <laughs> the Big Bird's Dream by DeForest Kelly. There's another picture of him on the back. And this looks like an original issue Star Trek comic book. Wait, have we, have we ever seen any comic books of that? I don't think so. Oh. And it got Spock and Kirk on the cover fighting some, it looks like, TOS Klingons. Or maybe it's TOS Romulans. I can't really tell. Look at this picture of the forest. Oh, my. God, that's <laughs> awesome. The picture on the right here. That's, uh, that's amazing. All right. It's me at every wedding. We got more. <laughs> Starfleet Technical Manual. And I have Star Trek The Motion Picture Official Blueprints. Look at all. We love Techno Babble. Look. Yeah, we got to get better at it. <laughs> so during the episodes, when Jordy starts rambling off his, his, uh, his stuff as he does, we're going to open this up and try to find what he's talking about. This is another one from James. Thank you. Holy oh, shit. Oh, my God. God. Collector's Edition Shuttlecraft Clock Radio from Star Trek TNG. 
<laughs> the Magellan. Yeah. Yeah. Exact replica of the Magellan shuttlecraft that's seen in TNG. AM FM radio, five preset radio stations, backlight display, dual battery backup. That is incredible. To Josh and Alex, hi fellas, I wanted to give you guys a cool piece of Star Trek merch that I had when I was a kid. This one isn't mine, I'm keeping mine. <laughs> <laughs> but I was able to find one for you guys. I absolutely used this alarm clock back in the day and now you can too, at least as a decoration. I don't know if the radio works, but I did test and confirm that the Star Trek sound effect works. Thanks for bringing us on your Star Trek journey, James. Thank you so much. That's hilarious, and that's awesome. I am definitely going to set that up somewhere. That's amazing. Um, wow. Uh, I think that's everything. If somehow you sent us something and it didn't end up in this video, I do apologize. I'll probably find it if that's the case when I move, but I'm pretty sure this is everything. For now, until we open the P.O. box, make sure to reach out to us if you sent us something and it wasn't in here. This is all like just incredible and amazing and very... Uh, humbling and wild yeah I'm eternally grateful that people would take the time out of their day and spend their money to you know send us stuff that's so dear and near to them and it's near to dear to us now and hopefully we can all have this displayed and for the channel just once we have like a nice studio if we can just get like a wall of everything set up i think that'd be great but one step at a time and we thank you all so much and for the people that sent this stuff, I know a lot of it has been here for quite a long time. So if you sent us something, thank you so much for the patience of waiting for us to actually open it and make this video. Uh, that's, you know, so much cool stuff here has just been sitting in my house, not, not open. So yeah. we did not plan on it taking this long. It was just a series of uh, very last minute Every time we would set up to do it on a recording day, something would change or get canceled or, or you know, or a three-hour movie we have to watch. So, finally opening is awesome. Hopefully, once we open that new P.O. box, we won't wait, you know, six months uh, to open everything. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Except for Star Wars Yoda Secret War. I mean, who... Who sent us this? You know, Alex, that actually... I don't know how that got in there. That wasn't fan mail. I actually got this for you as a gift. But I must have just forgotten and put it in the wrong box. So, I mean, I thought you would you would appreciate it. I don't. You can't keep this. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Oh shit! What do you mean? Oh, I can't. Like, what do you mean? It's as if it's all mine. I thought it was for the video. This is legally mine. <laughs> yeah. Thought it was for the video. Yeah. Wait, they actually sent this stuff to us. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just buy it. <laughs>